when you come home and you see that in front of your garage it's going to be a good day the wheels are in for the cobra are you excited bud about the wheels yeah you're all bundled up it is cold very very cold i'm gonna make this part really short because it's so cold and i don't want to keep a little man out here too long we're gonna load the wheels up in the back of the truck it's from a company called whistler we went with two different sizes we're gonna be reading upside down today in the vlog unless i decide to flip the video we went with an 18 by nine and a half up front and an 18 by ten and a half in the rear so we're gonna open these, show you guys the wheels. You ready to open these, bud? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're gonna set the camera up on mommy's Jeep. Why? It's gonna be faster and easier. So we're gonna open these up, give you guys a quick little preview on the wheels. I am super excited about these. These wheels are gonna completely change the whole look of that Cobra. And me too. And you too. Uh, what? Is it? Yeah. Well, it's gonna be the same color wheels, but different. You're gonna be like a professional vlogger, you know that? Yeah. Yeah, the first wheel and then... What color is it? You ready to see which color it is? Yeah. What color is that? You ready to see it? Yeah! Let's take this off. Uh-huh, so we can take the paper off. You ready to take it off? Yeah. There we go. Look at that. Now that right there is the rear wheel. Uh-huh. That would be a second one. Now we can look at the wheel better. Yeah, what do you think of it? So that right there is the rear wheel. These things are gonna look so good on the hey, car. Looks like Bubba's tire. Yeah. All right. You want to transition this vlog? Yeah. closes at 7 and I'm not gonna get there until 702 as you guys can see right there so I may not be able to get them installed on the rims today here. Yeah, those rears are wide. That's crazy. Got wide. That's, that's some serious meat right there. All loaded up. Okay. Are you excited? Mm -hmm. All right, but that's faster tire in Manassas. Check them out. They do used tires. So if you guys are in Manassas area, they actually specialize in, I guess, stretching tires and different types of performance tires and stuff like that. Definitely check them out. These guys really came through and looked out for me. They stayed late. They close at seven. I got here at like 7.02. So a lot of respect goes out to these guys. And my lights just went off. But anyways, we're gonna hit the road. There's the GT500. So we finally made it back home to the house. It's pretty late. Obviously, we're not gonna be putting wheels on right now. I'll do that tomorrow. I'm gonna unload them, put them in the garage. Woo! So we're not leaving them back here. But if you guys are new to the channel, this is the GT500. Maybe we'll put a different set of wheels on it too. Oh my gosh, these wheels, they just, 
they look so, so good. We're definitely gonna get them on tomorrow so we can check them out, see how they look. I cannot wait to see these things on the Cobra. They're an 18 by 10 and a half in the rear, 18 by nine and a half up front, positive 22 offset. I'm gonna go ahead and pick this video up tomorrow and get these things mounted on the car. Picking back up. This is a whole different day. It's super nice out from where we picked it. So you guys are- Kill all joy riders. Look who joined us. <laughs> this weirdo right here. Hey, howdy, partner. And then this guy right here, because <laughs> we just filmed another video for you guys. First burnout. Mm -hmm. Hmm? Okay, this I see. This affects his two weight calls in, yeah. <laughs> Let's get these wheels installed. Red one and black one. Neither one of those. Let me, okay, let me. I got this, hold on. Let me edge. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness. I've got lug nuts, brand new lug nuts. Mm -hmm. I've got the polished and I've got a set of black. Which ones do you think are gonna look better? Um, black? I think the polished is gonna look better. Center cap is that polished. Yeah. So I think with the polished lug nuts will kinda That's look true. good. That's the only reason why I was thinking polished. Can we yeah. change this cap? Yeah, I ordered some black ones. Check the mail and the black center caps came in. So these are our options. And then I got some stickers. I'll link the guy's Instagram. He also makes the uh, lettering insert and he makes these center cap covers too as well. If you have a polished center cap, go with polished yep, lug nuts. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Black center cap. You, you got it. Mm -hmm. you, you guys get what I'm saying. Just listen to facts. I was only suggesting the things. <laughs> what is a joke? <laughs> guys, <laughs> these eyes three white claws in now. So we went to Advance, that was closed. Went to, well we did some pulls in the Mustang. You did? <laughs> <laughs> I knew you guys went and did shit. Yeah, yeah. I, well, let's tell them why. No, you know how I knew? Because it's dark out and <laughs> you guys left me here with him. <laughs> with that? Nothing. Oh, I did his hair, he looks great. But yeah. anyway. We then, needed a 13. Every time we work on Anything at JD's car, there is always a trip to Advanced Auto, aka Harbor Freight, Harbor Freight or Walmart or Lowe's to finish a project. Yep. Every time, guaranteed, I, and you see all these tools. Mm -hmm. Like, it's never ending There's and it's never enough. Dude, yeah, that looks stupid. <laughs> Yeah, man. You can get new ones on there? I'm gonna have to. Yeah, that sucks. Wow. The car is out on the ground. Suspension settled. Holy crap. Yeah, this is a full transformation. It doesn't even look like the same car. It looks completely different. So we've did the tail lights and the headlights. So good, let's hop in this thing and take it for a ride and I'll go over full complete details and specs and everything. And not only that, I'm gonna tell you guys how I can hook you guys up with a set of these wheels too. So I got the hook up for you guys, don't worry. tried calling me? Yeah. I'm vlogging. Oh, you actually did. <laughs> what were you guys doing? We were coming over to say hi. Oh. You told me to. Who did? You did on the phone this week. Oh, like Monday or Tuesday? I don't remember shit from that far ago. <laughs> oh, so how was your guys' this night? Pretty wild. Yeah, it was crazy. Yeah. Oh. Strip a lot of yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit. It's all oh, gosh. So it looks like Alex and Bex is working out. I'm a matchmaker. I hate you so much. Yeah. <laughs> Stop telling people that, you know. So what you think about it? Uh, about what? The Cobra. Uh, not oh, you. Okay. Not everything's about you. <laughs> Dude, 
This thing looks so good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, see, I had I to change the lug nuts. So yeah, yeah, that looks way better like that. Yeah, I had to get like extended deep well lug nuts or whatever you call those things. So the ones you ordered when I was here, those worked? Yep, those were the ones. Yep, so I put those on. Wow! What is this? This is why I have a hard time filming video. What's up, girl? What's up, dude? What's up? We're gonna try this again. All right, let me adjust that thing up a little bit. So I'm gonna take this quick little spin. Les and Alex, they're gonna sit there and talk about their relationship with each other. They'll start dating soon. I don't know. Backing up, and it probably looks like I'm rewinding this video from that camera up there. get over how well the car looks now with these wheels it's crazy it it has changed the entire look of this car when I first got this car I was like could not stand it. the wheels that were on before were so so hideous and now I actually like the way the car looks the wheels are from a company called Whistler they're an 18 by nine and a half up front 18 by 10 and a half in the rear tires up front they're all toyo toyo proxy sports up front 275 35 18 and then the rear is a 315 30 18 and the rear tire is a toyo r triple eight r the center caps that i put on were ordered off of amazon as well as the lug nuts i got those off of amazon because it was super hard to find i think it's a half by 20 thread pattern deep lug nut without open ends it was so hard to find those but I ended up finding them on Amazon because the rear wheels have extended lugs so that was my dilemma I had to use the original lug nuts that's why I put those ones back on originally in the video from when we installed them and then I ordered the correct ones as well as the center cap I got the center cap off of Amazon as well I will also uh, link in the company that makes the wheels Whistler The hookup I got for you guys for these wheels, if any of you guys are interested in a set of these, I can get you guys 15% off by using the code JOYRIDE15. There will be a link in the description so you guys can head over to Whistler and grab you a set of those wheels, but don't forget to use the code JOYRIDE15 to save your 15% off. I'm gonna turn around over here. We're gonna do a first gear pull. I wanna test out these tires. She hooks in first. Now, just if we could get the GT500 to hook in first, that would be awesome. Dude, this supercharger sounds so good. Still need to get the car over to the dyno. We need to see what she's putting down before we actually start doing any performance mods. So, I'm gonna leave this video off right there. Comment below, let me know what you guys think of the wheels. And if you guys haven't already, hit that subscribe button. We're going to be doing lots more stuff to the Cobra. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.